Hello everyone. In this video of UPSC CSAT PYQ series, we are going to discuss the topic average. And this video we are going, in, going to do in two parts. So this is first part of this topic, right? So let's see how many questions came in which year. So from this topic, they have asked one question in 2011. And after that, they have asked one question in 2016 and then three question in 2017, right? So in this video, we are going to discuss these four questions. All right. Okay, so let's start. So in 2011, they have asked one question. Question says, a student on her first three tests received an average score of N points. All right, so let's say this is test one. This is second test. This is third test. And this is, uh, so in first third test, she scored N points. If she exceeds her previous score by 20 points on her fourth test. Okay, so fourth test, she scored N plus 20, right? Then what is the average score for, for first four tests? See everyone, the average of first three is N and the average of, I mean, in fourth, she is scoring 20 extra. I mean, she is scoring N plus 20. So actually, she is scoring N, which was the average of the previous, I mean, the earlier tests and 20 she is scoring extra. So this 20 will be distributed equally in all these four tests, right? So this is 20 by four, five will be given to every test. Why? Because if you find the average, I mean, average is what sum of terms divided by number of terms. So N plus N plus N plus 20 divided by four. So this is what four and plus 20 and divided by four. So this will be n plus five, right? Actually, I have written the smaller n. So this is n plus five. All right, everyone. So the average will be increased by five. So this becomes n plus five, right? This is the answer, right? So here, which option is correct? Option number D is the right choice. Okay, everyone, fine. Okay, now let's move to the question. In 2016, the question was, the average monthly income of a person in a certain family of five is rupees 10,000. Five persons are there in the family. One, two, three, four, five persons, right? The average monthly salary is 10,000. So what is the best case? Just assume the salary of all the persons is 10,000, right? This is the best case. Just assume that the salary of all the persons is 10,000, right? After that, what will be the average monthly income of the person in the family if the income of one person increased by 1,20,000 per year, right? Let's say the salary of fifth person is increased by 1,20,000 per year. See everyone, 1,20,000 per year. So 1,20,000 per year divided by 12. So it means 10,000 per month, right? So salary of one person is increased. Let's say it's the fifth one. The salary of fifth person is increasing by 10,000 per month. So this 10,000, this extra 10,000 will be equally distributed to all the members of the family. Of These are the five members in the family. So 10K divided by five is equal to 2K, right? So every member, I mean, the average will be increased by 2,000. Fine, everyone. So if you just increase this by two, I mean, this distributed equally to everyone, right? So this is what the average of the entire family becomes 12,000 per month, right everyone? Fine. Because the thing is, what will be the average monthly income? So we need to find what is the monthly income, monthly average, right? So this is 12,000 per month. Clear everyone, A option is the correct choice, right? Fine. Okay, now the next question is, next question says, suppose that the average weight of nine persons is 50 kg. Okay, so average weight of nine persons is 50 kg. So their sum will be nine into 50. It is 450 kg. All right. The average weight of first five persons is 45 kg. The average weight of first five persons. So this is five into 45. So the average weight of first five persons, right? So this is 225 kg. Okay. The average weight of first five persons is 45 kg, whereas the average weight of last five persons is 55. So last five persons is 55. So this is what 275 kg, right? 
So if we add them, what we are getting is 225 plus 275, right? So this is 500 kg, right? So actually, you know, friends, what is happening? So first five and last five, last five is five to nine. So actually, if when we are calculating first five, the fifth one is calculated. And when we are calculating the last five, then again, fifth one is calculated. So here actually fifth one is calculated twice, right? So 500 minus 450, right? So that will be the answer. So this is 50 kg, right? Ideally, it should have calculated only once, but it is being calculated twice. So that's why we have just subtract the total weight of five for uh, nine persons from it, right? So this is 50 kg. C option is the correct choice, everyone. All right. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Next question says, there are 13 two digit consecutive odd numbers. Okay. The, if 39 is the mean of first five such numbers, see everyone, 39 is the mean of first five such numbers. So first five such numbers will be like this, right? And the average of five consecutive number will be what? Third number, third term, right? So they are saying 39 is the average of first five terms. All right. Then what is the mean of all 13 numbers? See everyone, the mean of all 13 numbers will be what? Seventh term. If they are consecutive, then mean of 13 numbers will be what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? So average of 13 terms will be what? Average of 13 terms will be seventh term. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7th. This will be the average, right? Exactly middle term will be the average, fine. So here actually we need to find the seventh term, fine everyone. So if this is 39 and they are consecutive odd terms, so obviously, If, if this is 39, so 41, 43, 45, and 47, right? So this will be the average. All right, everyone, this is the average for the entire series, right? So A option is the correct choice. All right. Okay. Now let's move to the next question. Next question is, the average rainfall in a city for first four days was recorded to be 0 0.40 inches. All right, so let's say there are four days, first, second, third, and fourth. So this is 0 0.40 inches. For first four days, it was 0 0.40 inches, the average. All right, and the rainfall on last two days were in the ratio four to three, so fifth and sixth. For fifth day and sixth day, they were in the ratio four to three. All right. Okay. The average of the six days was 0 0.5 inches for six days. So the sum of first for, for six days will be what? 0 0.5 into six. This is 3.0, right? And the sum of first four days is what? Four into 0 0.40. This is 1.6, right? So sum of fifth and sixth day will be what? 3 minus 1.6, this is 1.4. So sum of fifth and sixth day will be 1.4, right? So the sum of fifth and sixth day will be 1.4 and 1.4 will be distributed in the ratio 4 is to 3, correct? So when we divide 1.4 in the ratio 4 is to 3, 4 is to 3 we will get 0 0.8 and 0 0.6. So on eighth day, 0 0.8 inches rainfall was there and on ninth, sorry, on fifth day, 0 0.8 inches rainfall was there, and on sixth day, 0 0.6 inches rainfall was there, right? So question is what? What was the rainfall on fifth day? So fifth day is 0 0.8, right everyone? Here, C option is the correct choice. All right, okay. Now I think the questions are over. Guys, now it is the time to discuss about our offerings, what Unjust offers you guys. So we have some programs related to CSAT only. Right, and let me discuss those programs in detail. So first program is CSAT Foundation program. This is actually CSAT Foundation program. This is a long-term program for CSAT, right? So those who are targeting like after two years or after one year, so they can join this program, right? And then CSAT PYQ program. CSAT PYQ program is a very targeted program that we have designed here. We have collected all the questions that came in CSAT from 2011 to 2021 
and we have segregated those questions topic wise and concepts wise right so we are discussing all those questions and obviously we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the csat examination fine so we have discussed all the concepts through questions so actually we are teaching in this program through pyqs only right so here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the, from the certain topic and moreover here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also i mean which type of questions may further asked i mean may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic fine so this is csat pyq program and then csat crash course those two i mean those students who don't have much time or those who have less time they can join this program i mean we have crash course for 2 months for 50 days or for uh, one month also right so you can join according to your availability and your convenience fine and then csat weekend batch this batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates those who don't have time in weekdays they may join this program right it is a very beneficial program for those candidates those who are i mean those who don't have time in weekdays basically fine and then csat test series along with the discussion see everyone this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed here we have i mean we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of csat fine because here obviously if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers then you will see the drastic change right so obviously we have designed the questions based on that only okay so this is a very good program and obviously the discussion is also very important fine how to tackle the paper how to eliminate the options this is actually very important how to read the question properly right so this discussion is also very important and after that we have a free program in our telegram five star question series in telegram see everyone what is this five star telegram i mean five star question series in telegram here we upload five questions every day in our telegram channel okay and we discuss those questions sometimes in telegram and sometimes in our website fine here you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum i mean till the examination you may just get connected uh, with the questions for csat just take five questions every day and uh, i mean maintain your momentum till the examination so this is a very i mean very beneficial program for the students so guys please get benefited out of it right join this program and let me introduce about our uh, contact details so friends we have a telegram channel the link for the same is telegram slash unjust right so this is our telegram channel and our website is unjust.com right and if you guys want to talk to us then we have a very simple number 9613192021 right again 9613192021 it's a very simple and convenient number right easy to learn in fact and let me tell you something about our classes so we have offline classes offline classes we have in or in old rajinder nagar new delhi right so if you want to join our offline classes you may contact us and you may come to offline classes which are in orn right and we also have online classes so online classes i mean uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures right uh, just by contacting us fine so friends so uh, these are the details that i wanted to discuss with you guys right and please uh, stay tuned for very good content we guys are working for you day in day out right and please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it right so thank you everyone thanks for watching thanks for watching the video thank you thank you so much